Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So today's video is all about the boys homecoming. I had, they both are going in two different directions so I'm making some food to take for each one of them to the party, before party, um, before the homecoming. Um, last night was the parade and the football game and tonight is the dance so I'm really excited for them. I know they're going to have a good time. Today is the oldest last homecoming since he is a senior. So I thought I made a charcuterie board for for the um, one of the uh, parties and I thought I would share that with you and I also made a couple other things that I shared with you as well. So um, let's get started because I got a busy day ahead of me. All right, my friends, so now I'm getting ready to put my charcuterie board together. Now, basically, a charcuterie board is different kinds of um, meats, but this is just like a little version, a different version of it. It's going to have meats and some little snackies and cheeses and things like that. So I guess it's just kind of like a an appetizer board, but I'm calling it my charcuterie board. So anyway, so back there I have some red grapes, some toffee pretzels, toffee chocolate covered pretzels, some pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. We have a couple different varieties of crackers, some dried apricots. I have some cheddar cheese. And I did already um, slice up the cheese, just about all of it um, last night, just to get a head start on it because I had quite a bit of things to do today. Um, I have some Colby, Bat Colby Jack cheese, some pumpkin seeds, and there I have some pepper jack cheese. I have the hard salami, black olives, and that cheese there, I made these cute little signs here, and that cheese in the back here is called roasted garlic, tomato, and basil cheese. This cheese here is cranberry white cheddar cheese. And then if you can see here, I just have a wooden cutting board. I purchased this at Home Goods, and the people that are hosting this party, I'm just going to leave this there with them just kind of as a thank you for hosting the party. And then I have some fresh mozzarella balls in um, some olive oil. It's marinating with olive, olive oil, herbs, and spices, and I'm going to put some of those in one of the dish. And then I... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned Kalamata olives. I'm going to put that in one of the dishes. And then, of course, those green olives I am too. I have some maple leaf cookies. And then here I have some pumpkin spice cookies. And then this cheese here, this is called scorpion pepper gouda. And this is very spicy. And then I have here just some different Italian meats wrapped in... Um, mozzarella or provolone cheese and then I think I said pepper jack so this is everything that I have I don't know if all of it's going to fit on the board or not but we're going to try to make it fit so let's get started all right my friends so I have my wooden cutting board here with three little trays and I just positioned them I didn't want them to be all lined up and matchy matchy even even so I just kind of put them in this position I think that's it could change a little bit as we go along, but I think that's where we're going to go. So first I'm going to start with the larger items, which is the cheese. So I think I'm going to put that here. Then I have, or no, I think I'm going to put this here. And then I have my um, tomato basil cheese. I think I'm going to put that here. This I think I'm going to put there. So I'm going to start with opening this up here. And like I said, I um, started prepping this last night just so I would have time today because I had some errands to run um, earlier in the day and I didn't want to be last minute. So I went ahead and this was like a half circle and I just sliced it 
to where I got little wedges. Can you see that? Little wedges. All right. I get it. The basil in there, of course, had to do that, right? Do I want to do it? I think I want to do it like this. Do I want to do it sideways? No, I think I'm going to keep this like this. We'll just open it up a little bit. Like that. I'm just opening it up a little so it's easy. And I have little toothpicks um, in a little clear glass cup. All right, then we're going to open this up here. And this is that scorpion hot cheese that I mentioned. And again, I done the same thing. I just sliced it on a little bit of an angle to give it that little triangle shape. Come up there a little bit so I'm not so even with that. And then I'm just going to spread it out just a tiny bit just so it's easy to grab a little piece from it with a toothpick. There we go. Like that. Just creating a little circle. Okay, and then I have over here the cranberry white cheddar cheese. I have to say this is one of my all-time favorite cheese in a round cheese. It's a round cheese and again I just sliced it the same way but we're going to lay this out a little bit differently. I'm trying to get it open and here is, you can see how it crumbles a little bit and this cheese is so delicious. So I'm just going to lay it out on the board like this instead of doing it in a circle. You know, so I'm just taking a little piece like that. Okay. That. Put that one there. There we go. I think I'll have to eat the leftover one. <laughs> All right, my friends. So now I still have a few more cheese left. But I think, sorry, I'm eating the cheese. I think what I'd like to do is start putting the meat. So I have two of these provolone with uh, bruschetta. And I think what I'm going to do is stack these over here on the edge like that. Bring those in. Do one on each side, maybe. There we go. Oops, I'm sorry. I got my arm across there. You can't see what I'm doing. I just threw those on the edge like that. And then what I think I'll do is put these here in the middle like that. This is just um, some salami. I think it's the, I'm not sure what it's called. I threw the box away. I'll do like that. And then we have some more of the bruschetta. So we're gonna go ahead and just put these over here. They do stick together a little bit. There we go. You guys see that? go. I'm just going to put these here just like that. I am separating them because they do stick a little bit. You can make these yourself. I chose not to just to save a little bit of time. Okay and now I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is add some of my pepper jack cheese right here and just for a variety um, to change up the look. I went ahead and chunked this cheese just like that. Then I have 
some of the um, cheddar cheese. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this over a tiny bit. I'm going to fill in with some of the chunked cheddar cheese. I don't know if everything that I bought is going to fit on here. We'll see. We'll get what we can for sure. Okay. Whatever I have left over, again, I'll just put it in a baggie so we can have the leftovers. And then I have some of the Colby Jack cheese. And I think I might do is take this. I think I'm going to move this over here like that. Actually, I'm going to put this over here. I'm just moving it around just a tiny bit, just so I can have it look nice. There we go. I like that much better. Okay. And then we're going to put our um, Colby and Cheddar cheese on here. And again, this was just one of those eight ounce blocks and I just sliced them like that. And I think what we'll do, is just kind of alternate the slices like that, just to give it a little interest. Oops. That. Not there. And then what I'll do is just add a few down here as well. Just rotating it. Just throwing that in there. Like that. here as well. Or, you know what, I think I'll just put some more here. Okay. And then, like I said, the leftovers, I'll just go ahead and, oh, I forgot I had some of the Salami, so let's add some of this in. Go ahead and put some salami slices right here. Just going to toss those in. All right, my hands are a little greasy, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe them off. So now, what I want to do is I wanted to add some dried apricots. I'm going to have to cut that off. I was going to add some cookies to it, but I think my board may be a little bit small to do the cookies. I'm going to add some dried apricots here on the edge. There we go. Plenty of space for them. Oops, just dropped on the floor. 
This one's a little on the soggy side, so I'm getting rid of that one. Just finishing off, just tucking it in there. And then I have some grapes. I'm going to go ahead and add some grapes there. Just doing little bunches. I'm going to tuck that in there like that. I'm just trimming off little um, bunches so they can just quickly grab. You see here, little bunches. Little bunches there like that. And let's see what we can make happen. Let's try this here. We'll tuck some in on the edge. So this is where we're at. So now I'm going to go ahead and I have some mozzarella balls. I'm going to put some of those in the dish here. So I'm going to put those in the middle since I have different olives. Here are the mozzarella balls. in here all right my friends so there we have that. I'm going to go ahead and open up my olives. These are just the green olives. I'm going to have to get something to open this with. All right, my friends, I went ahead and drained the um, olives since I was opening it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour those right here into that container or that little tray. That's a perfect fit. And then we're going to go ahead and take, excuse my reach, my Kalamata olives, which I had already opened. I'm going to put some of those in this tray right here. These are my favorite all-time olives. I remember when my son was little, he used to love to eat black olives and feta cheese all the time mixed together okay and there we go I'm gonna add a little bit of grapes over here Just a small little amount tuck it in right there Big soggy ones. <laughs> Throw that there. A couple more in here. Right there. And there. And then you just go ahead in and fill in wherever you need to. Like that. I don't have that many slices of this left, so I might as well just go ahead and finish putting that in there like that. like that. Alright my friends, go ahead and finish up just putting those last few touches on it. Okay. That looks really lovely and I just realized I wanted to add a little bit of greenery in there and I did not pick anything up to do that with so unfortunately I don't have anything I don't think I do anyway I'll look and see but I don't think I do and then I'm just going to put in a few little grapes Oops. over here Let me get the camera down and we'll do a quick overview. Hi my friends, so here is what the tray looks like. 
I tried to get quite a bit on there, um, so I decided not to put the crackers on there because I just felt like it would have taken a lot of room. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the crackers on a separate tray. But I think this turned out wonderful. If I would have had a bigger board, oh my goodness, I would have had a ball with it. So then, like I said, I made these little signs to put on there as well. And that way, those are the cheeses that people would probably not know what they are. So I thought, especially with the scorpion pepper gouda, I wanted to make sure people knew that was hot. And the pepper jack cheese, you can pretty much guess what that one is. So this is what the board looks like. Now let me go ahead and put the um, crackers, and I'll give you a look at that real quick. All right, my friends, so there it is complete. I have my little, um, oh, I was going to say Q-tips, my little toothpicks for the tray of our crackers. And I think they're going to enjoy it. All right, my friends. So that is it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. As you saw, um, that tray really turned out nice. I really love the way it turned out. I wish it would have been bigger so I could have had some crackers and some of the little pumpkin spice uh, cookies and pretzels and stuff. But it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but I still absolutely love the way it turned out. So the boys are just about ready, um, and we got to get out of here. So um, I will, at the end, share some photos of everything with you. So I hope you stick around to the very end. So friends, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider the subscribing as it greatly helps me out. And don't forget to hit that little bell because it will notify you every time I have a new video coming out. And also don't forget to follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok as well. Friends, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.